Good morning. My name is Emily Gravitt and I am the author and illustrator of a book called Little Mouse's Big Book of Fears. If you look at my other videos, you will find that I read it to you recently. So today, what I thought I would do is I would teach you how to draw Little Mouse from my book. Here he is here, creeping along with his pencil. He's a little mouse that's afraid of everything. There's the cover of the book. So we're going to need a few pieces of equipment to draw Little Mouse. The very first thing that we normally always need is a pencil. So make sure you've got a pencil. And just in case we make a mistake or two or draw some lines that we want to rub out, always useful to have a rubber. You have got one of them? Brilliant. What's this thing? Paintbrush. Might not look exactly like that, but it doesn't matter. Or if you don't want to use paint, you could use felt tip pens, crayons, any old thing really. I'm going to use watercolour paints. These are my watercolour paints. They're very messy. And that's what I'm going to do. So I think we are going to draw our mouse here. So the very first thing we're going to do, let's move the rubber out of the way, is I'm going to draw a sort. It's like an oblong, which is almost a triangle, goes in towards the top. Can everybody see that? And slightly curved towards the bottom. I think if you've been doing a few of my videos now, you'll realise that actually a lot of the characters are quite similar looking. So have we got this? Looks a bit like this. And at the top, remember I once told you that they're all really shapes? Well, the top of this is like a triangle, isn't it? But it hasn't gone all the way in. You can go all the way across if it makes it easier for you. You can go all the way across to make a triangle and then just take your rubber and rub out that little line in between. How are we doing? Have we got there? So look, we've already got the body and the head. Little Mouse is actually quite an easy character to draw. We're going to give him the feet. So we're going to have him his first foot and have it coming down a little bit like this. Almost like it's coming down towards a point, but then it's going to be, that's like his knee or his elbow there, a little bit round and then going out in a line there a parallel line and then at the end just put some little sharp claws on. There's one. And let's think, which way do we want him sort of pointing? Is he going to be looking that way? Is he going to be standing facing us with his head? I think he's going to stand facing us with his head turned around. So we're going to bring that line down from the edge and this way is also going to be like a little triangle, do you see? with a little elbow at the bottom. And this one is going to go flat parallel along the bottom to the paper. And another little pointy bit there. Have we got anything that looks like that? Move that up a bit. What do you think? How is yours looking? I'm going to rub out these little lines in between. How are we doing? Very good, I think. Oh, we might also need a ruler if you want to put a pencil in because he's drawing his fears in my book. So we're going to put some ears. Think about your ear, like think about an animal's ears when it's frightened. You know, sometimes ears can tell us how an animal is feeling. Have you noticed this about your cat when it's feeling really angry? It might put its ears back, but a dog with its ears back normally means it's slightly scared. I wonder what a mouse is like. I think I'm going to have them sticking straight out the back like that. It's not even sticking up, is it? But that one might, I think. One in the front, so they're really just a sort of circle-y type thing. And then another one there, because his face isn't quite sideways on. And then a big eye. I think he's a big frightened eye, actually. Don't put the pupil in yet. Just put the outside of the eye in. How are we doing? And then at the end of his nose, just down underneath it a bit, 
going to make it sort of like a little circle at the end, like a little drop shape. Oh, and because this is a scared mouse rather than a smile, I'm going to do a little wobbly line like that. Oh dear. Maybe actually above his eye, in between his eye and his ear. Oh no, he actually looks quite worried, doesn't he? Shall we draw him holding a pencil? Have you got a ruler? If not, just something with a straight edge. About three quarters of the way up his body. Draw a straight line in. And then about the same width as a real pencil, maybe. Draw another line in like that. And then you could put a couple of lines in between because you see that the way that pencils have ridges on. Unless you've got a very round pencil. I'll tell you what, actually, before we do those lines, let's rub out where the edges of his body is. And then it'll look like the pencil's in front of him, won't it? Another line there. Oh, he's got to hold on to it. It looks like it's floating in front of him, doesn't it? I'm also going to rub out that end. I think his pencil's a bit long there. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Let's have a think. This arm could be coming down over the top of it. So you draw a little curvy line, little claws on the bottom, just like that. You see? And then you can rub out, if you can do it, if you've got a good enough rubber, very carefully, those pencil lines. What do we think? And then maybe the other arm is holding it from underneath. So we can just have some little claws a little curve. There we go. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? We're going to need to make it even at the end. Have a look at your pencil you're holding, see what the end does. You might have a rubber on the end of yours, you could draw that one. This one's just got a sort of little curve at the bottom like that. Then at the other end, it comes to a point. And have a look at your pencil. It's like a sort of pattern, isn't it? Have a really careful look and then draw that on. Hey, that looks pretty good. Now we need to go down between his legs, right in the middle. And we're going to draw just one long wiggly line like that in our pencil. Can you see it? It's dark enough. Nearly. <laughs> Blow all those rubbery things away. And we're just going to leave it as one line for now because when we come to paint, we're going to do that with paint or a felt tip pen. So it doesn't really need to be this. So let's do a bit of shading because this mouse is white. You might want to make your mouse a different colour because mine's going in all sorts of colours. I'm going to use for the, my shading a sort of bit of grey, which is actually a just bit of really watered down black. Do you remember what we did before when we had a blank piece of paper? And we tested the colours on it like that. So that's quite pale, that works quite well. So I'm going to shade all around his bottom bit and actually part of his legs all the way up the side of him like that. Can you see? It's quite subtle, it's quite pale. And then I'm just going to do just below where the pencil is because the pencil could be casting a shadow on his body. And just under where his arm is as well, could be casting a shadow there and just around his eyes that ear that's behind and inside of his ear might be a little bit darker too and the other place where it might be a little bit darker is at the bottom of the pencil where the light's not quite reaching the pencil so that very bottom bit the pencil there it's already looking much rounder isn't it and then i'm going to use another bit of gray to put a shadow underneath looking pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to draw his tail. I'm going to use a slightly smaller paintbrush and I'm going to look at my colours and I've got a bit of white and I've got a bit of red. That's quite bright pink. I've got a bit of other pink. If I add that in, let's see. Oh, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Maybe a bit more white. Let's try that. I've got a brush loaded and I'm going to start by his bum and I'm going to try and follow my line. Yay! I might need to load my brush back up again. 
Oh, his tail's quite long, isn't it? And my, it's not all getting all the way through. Whee! If you see any bits you've missed, go back over them. Look at that. It looks pretty good. And with the same pink, I'm going to do his... I've got a bit water here. I'm going to do his feet. I'm just going to stop when I get to his body. Because the fur starts there. I'm going to do his feet and his paws and his ears and his nose maybe a little bit around his eye too and I'm going to think about what colour I want his pencil to be what colour do you think you want your pencil to be? I think maybe I'd quite like him to have a blue pencil Oh, actually, I'm going to paint that in blue. You could do it any colour you want. Oops, I went over his paw a bit. It doesn't really matter. You can't get that kind of thing off. It'll be on there, but it doesn't really matter. The thing is with drawings, they don't actually have to be perfect. In fact, sometimes the little mistakes you make are the things that make your drawings really nice. Is it a blue pencil? It might be, might not it? So I'm just going to colour in the point blue. There's one thing, actually there's two things we've forgotten in here. Does anyone see what they are? Let's have a think. I think one of them is his pupil in his eye. So maybe what we could do is we could make him look this direction. So if we want to make him look over here, we need to put the pupil of his eye on this side of his eye. So if we draw a circle there, oh, he looks like he's looking, doesn't he? He looks like he's quite scared. And then we're going to put some whiskers. Now, imagine if you're really scared, you might be shaking. So I think what we might do is do some wobbly whiskers. Oh, he looks absolutely terrified, doesn't he? Poor little mouse. I wonder what he's scared of. Now, this is a bit for you to really use your imaginations. If you've finished your mouse now, I want you to imagine either what you're scared of or what little mouse might be scared of and maybe draw it in the rest of the paper. I wonder what I'm going to draw. I wonder what I'm scared of. I wonder if you can guess. Let me draw it and then you can guess what I'm really, really scared of. Have you guessed yet? Let's have a look. Let's have a think. Can you guess what I'm scared of? Anyone else scared of this thing? I am scared of... Begins with a W. There you go. So I would really, 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 really like it if you could show me your drawings of your mouse's fears. So if you want to post them, if you're on Facebook, you could put them in the comments thread underneath this video. If you're on Instagram, you could put them on your mum and dad's Instagram account with the hashtag Emily Draw so that I can find them. And if I see one, I will definitely say hi. Thanks very much for coming. See you next time.